Hi guys, welcome to In 5 Minutes. Today we are going to do video on CH mode, which is one of the command of Unix. To be very precise, CH mode is also used with Linux and other operating system. The full form CH mode is a change mode. Basically, it's a command used for changing permission to a file or the structure of a file or object. Let's try to understand. In a formal language, CH mode is a command is a command or a system call that may change access permission to the file system object. That means the basic purpose of this command is to enable delegate delegation or changing the pre-delegated rights. Basically the command can do this by using a following syntax. Here the ch mode the keyword is used followed by the option which has the mode and other details followed by a comma. So basically it would have usually three things. R is a recursive which includes object and its subdirectory. That means whatever mode you are setting, is it only for that particular file or a directory or, e or even the subdirectory F. Force or forge ahead with objects, even if error occurred. That means if some of the file or one or two files which are locked creates an error, still remaining things would change. And the last is verbose shows object process. That means it will show a list of process being done so that you guys can understand and process it further. Going further, we have modes which can specify the mode which we are talking about here. The modes are given in a ch mode basically they are octal digit by saying octal digit we do understand seven bits to work with so basically how things would work or what we have there is a clear cut understanding of numbers if any file is given with number seven which move which means it is read write and execute at the same time Similarly, when we say 6, that is only read write. When we say 5, it is read and execute. When we say 4, it is read only until we reach to 0, basically. So this is a ch mode to talk about. It's a change command or a rather change access command, which will be used to give dedicate rights or access rights to others. So that's basically what we have. That's it. Thanks for watching this video.